بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحب في الله from one of the mistakes that I observe uh, in many social media platforms especially like Facebook is people being open about their sins and we know that this is a great sin in and of itself and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala out of his divine wisdom and his mercy upon us helps uh, many of us or helps all of us to cover a lot of our sins that we don't want the people to know about and this is from the sunnah of Allah Azza wa Jal and the sabil al-mu'mineen is that they do not expose their sins that if they are struggling with things they keep that to themselves and they struggle to make toba and remove those sins away from them but what we see instead we see many of our brothers and sisters broadcasting their sins with many many countless sisters who are now fashion uh models and makeup artists and you know using the foulest of language exposing their sins around the world and recording it and leaving it out there people knowing about their marital affairs people knowing about their sexual preferences people knowing about their sinful tastes and all of this evil is just in a is just spreading evil when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has favored you for the people not to witness some of your sins but instead you go and broadcast them and from the some of the other mulahadat or observations which we need to correct ourselves about is sometimes you see people from Ahlus Sunnah publicizing their sins, uh, such as what I've observed on more than one occasion is brothers who may even be callers to the Sunnah advertising their wives. Now that is beautiful if you compliment your wife and you even maybe outward you say I have a beautiful righteous spouse who's in my corner and these kind of things, okay? But what we see, we see people showing the pictures of their wives. I can't understand any logic of that from someone who is on the path of the Sabil al-Mu'mini, that they would advertise their wives and show their attraction around the world and perhaps not realizing that perhaps someone who is sick in their heart will find pleasure and enjoyment out of looking at these brothers' wives, or that it can open up other doors, that perhaps the shaitan can come to where other relations and relationships can be developed at some point or another. So it's very serious, and we have to be uh, conscious of what we publicize in social media, that you should reserve yourself. It's better. I know, I know brothers I personally love that are companions of mine. But I'm amazed at some of the things they put out there in social media. Publicizing things, involving in some way in wasted speech and sinful speech uh, more oftentimes than not. May Allah forgive us in them and guide us in them. I mean, Rabbil Alameen. And one of the sins that we have to be extra cautious about, and it is one of the major sins, as there is a wa'id shadid in the sin. That means there's a, a great a punishment mentioned along with the sin, and that is dalil. That is evidence that that is one of the major sins. And Imam uh, Mundari, he mentioned in his book, uh, Tarheeb or Targheeb, he said, he entitled a chapter, Tarheeb min ifsha asir sima ma kana bina zawjain. This is the... Uh, Warning against uh, spreading the secrets that take place between the husband and wife. And Abi Sa'id radiyallahu ta'ala'in. Qala qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Inna min sharra al-nas inda Allah manzalat yawm al-qiyamah. Rajalun. Yufdi in a mra'atihi wa yufdi ilayhi. Thumma yanshir ahaduhuma sir sahibuhu. Wufi riwaya, inna min a'zam al-amanata 
أعظم أمانتي عند الله يوم القيامة رجل يفضي لامرأته وتفضي إليه ثم ينشر سرها رواه مسلم وأبو داود وغيرهما In this hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the hadith of Abi Sa'id al-Khudri radiyallahu ta'inu, he said, I heard the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say, Verily the evilest of people, Verily the evilest of people to Allah in status on the day of judgment is the man who yufdi to with his woman and watufdi ilayhi and that she has relations with him then he spreads it or one of them spreads it spreads the secrets of the other one and the other narration that's in sahih muslim is similar to this so here the ulama they mention the the kalima uh the verb or fa'l yufdi that it has different meanings one of the meanings that the ulama sunnah mentioned and the and ahlul lugha the people of uh the arabic language the grammarians they mention that this means uh that one of the mean meanings is that it's a uh to kenni or it is a kunya or a a phrase uh which is used to describe uh, a metaphor which is used to describe uh the actual the actions of sexual relations another meaning that they mention is that this is used uh this is also uh in reference to the uh to other uh to to using the restroom so basically meaning using the restroom either akramakum allah urinating or uh uh the other thing <laughs> number 2 uh, um right i forget in english what we call it anyway going boo boo <laughs> uh and and that uh going to the bathroom that the that that that's another reference to that so basically meaning that telling the secrets of the home and then the scholars like imam anawi and others mention that unless there is a sharia maslaha meaning there's a sharia based benefit in sharing certain secrets then this is muharram then the people fall under this wa'id they fall under this threat of punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that this is a major sin to share what goes on in your household i mean especially uh private things like sexual relations and other things and i've heard true stories and people spread this about individuals and uh, the wife is so talkative in in speaking about the business of her household talking about her husband's private part and that it's like you know it's not all that and these kind of things akramakum allah these are real true uh narrations that have come to me and this is a real travesty ahabita billah and it's a major sin so it lets us know the dangers of sharing those secrets that are in your household So what about those who are going on social media talking about my wife has all this my wife has all that oh my husband he's the king and he's got this and he's like this akramakum allah wallahu musta'an so it shows us it's a very dangerous thing and this is why the ulama sunna qadim wa hadith and they speak about this and why it's in such a beautiful book like tarhib or targhib and that the scholars explain the dangers of this and that it's a major sin because the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam said in min sharra an-nas inda Allah manzalata yawm al-qiyama that verily the people who have the worst status with Allah we're not talking about with the other people we're not talking about people criticizing you because you're 
you're doing this and you're speaking about your family like this and you're doing this. But we're talking about in the law, Yom al Qiyamah. That's, that's serious. So it shows us we need to be cautious in our tongue about what we say about what's taking place in our household. And we need to be careful in general with social media and the things that we do. And that is not from righteous adab and manners of a mu'min. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said was correct is from Allah Azza wa Jalla. Anything I said that was incorrect is for myself and the shaitan. And may Allah forgive us all of our sins and bless us all to come closer to him. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help the Muslims everywhere, protect the Muslims everywhere, preserve the Muslims everywhere, feed the Muslims everywhere, increase the risk and stability and peace with the Muslims everywhere. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.